Logan got the gun, she still had to meet the legal requirements for firing it in self-defense. The law in New York says someone must have a reasonable belief that deadly force is necessary. She must reasonably believe she is in imminent danger herself, facing deadly physical force or an attempted rape. He said, Fish, you're dead. And what did he do at that point? He, he turned around and he went for his briefcase again. Now, at that point, what happened? <laughs> I fired the gun. I don't know if he was coming up with the briefcase or a gun. What else could I do? I did. I couldn't get away. That was the only chance that I had. Dugan says after Stoninger grabbed the gun away from her, she ran out the door. Do you call the police? You have to answer. No. Okay, why not? Oh, I was scared because... Oh, I didn't know what he was going to do to me if I turned him in. Elizabeth Dugan must was. also explain why she later lied to police in her videotaped statement. The minute I went in, he starts reading me rights and showing me bloody pictures and telling me I'm under arrest and there's nothing I can do and he's real sorry about it but this is his job and there's been a complaint and there's nothing that I can say or do so these are your rights. What am I supposed to tell him? Exactly what happened? He wasn't going to listen to me. You know there is the presumption of innocence is that when you have two different interpretations of the evidence you have got to give her the benefit of the doubt in every situation. You may go back to the jury room and say, gee, it's obvious that she did it, but this guy had it coming to him. Please don't do that. Self-defense or attempted murder? When we come back here to the courthouse in New York, the jury's verdict. Members of the jury, have you agreed upon a verdict? Yes, we have. I like the feel of death on my face. It keeps my skin moist, and that's very important to me. Dove is one quarter moisturizing cream. It won't dry your face like soap. And on occasion, I will try something new to see what it's all about. I go immediately back to Dove. Now Glade Carpet Potpourri is five times better than baking soda. It's five times tougher. Improved Glade Carpet Potpourri absorbs tough carpet odors five times better than baking soda. It's five times fresher. New Glade Carpet Potpourri in a new pet formula, too, for wet pet accidents. It's five times better than baking soda. Fresh from Glade. SC Johnson Wax. How many ways to make a collect call do you need? It's too complicated. Time for a collect call recall. Forget about 1-800 operator. Or 1-800 collect. AT&T has a better way. All you need is 1-800 call ATT. Dial it every time you make a collect call. It's new, it's simple. 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. One number. The lowest price for a collect call. Only from AT&T. Your true voice. Every second of an asthma attack can feel like an eternity. That's why there's Primatine Mist. Primatine starts to open clogged breathing tubes in as fast as 15 seconds. Primatine Mist. Fastest type asthma relief without a prescription. Tea looks mighty tasty. I think I'll take a sip. Did he say a sip? Get my hand. <laughs> Lipton Original is real brewed. For the original taste, you just have to guzzle, gulp, or chug. What have you learned, my son? It is not wise to sip. Certainly. Lipton Original. This ain't no sipping tea. <laughs> Prosecutors say 21-year-old co-ed call girl Elizabeth Dugan tried to kill the guy who ran her escort service because he threatened to tell her mother about her double life. But the defense says Elizabeth Dugan is the victim, reacting in fright to a would-be rapist who was about to attack her. Now the jury's verdict. It was that the jury had to find the defendant, Elizabeth Dugan, as to the charge in the first count. Attempted murder in the second degree, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. 
How do you find a defendant as to the charge of the second count? Assault in the first degree. Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. <laughs> Recently, we spoke with Dugan and Stoninger. Both have new looks and new lives. I think I'm in the process of putting it behind me, and I think I'm doing very well. Justice must be done, and I will not rest until it is done. Because here we sit more than two years after the shooting, and I still don't know why she shot me. Stoninger is pursuing a civil lawsuit. He's moved to Florida. Elizabeth Dugan plans to return to college soon. Now June's here with a look at next week's show. Next week, the case of Michael Griffin, accused of gunning down a doctor outside an abortion clinic. Also, the sentencing hearing of a serial killer in a life-or-death courtroom battle. I regret with all my heart what my hand has done, for I have taken what I cannot return. Greg? That's it for this edition. Hope you'll join us again next week as Court TV takes you inside America's courts. Promotional consideration provided by... I Can't Believe It's Not Butter is the first spread flavored with sweet cream buttermilk for a fresh butter taste. I can't believe it's not butter. It's the taste you love without the cholesterol. Before I, I started putting the adhesive on the super polygrip, I couldn't eat the heroes, I couldn't eat the apples, I couldn't eat the nuts. Hold your dentures super tight with super polygrip. If you'd like to save up to 50% on your contact lenses, eyeglasses, and eye exams, call for a free Lens Express catalog and find out how you can start saving right away. For information about Core TV and the cases it covers, call 1 800 9 Court 0. A great many people think that Jack Klugman and I are just like Felix and Oscar because we've played them so long. I didn't say assume, did I? A great many people assume that Jack Klugman and I are just like Felix and Oscar. Tony! All right. Come and see us in our annual 15th annual farewell tour. I said annual twice. There we go again. Come see us in our annual 15th farewell tour of Neil Simon's great comedy, The Odd Couple. Is that any good? WJW and WDOK uh, present The uh, Odd Couple at the Palace Theater, May 3rd through 8th. Tickets now. Don't you care? On the next American Journal, John can bring you face to face with this killer. Shark dives are his business. I didn't expect people to hate me. Now, these surfers tell American Journal they want him out of the water. His profits not worth anybody's life. They're afraid he's turning them into shark bait. I'm Nancy Glass. That's just one of the stories worth watching on the next American Journal. Tomorrow at 7.30 on TV8. Five nights a week, watch your local news. And five nights a week, stay tuned for Murphy Brown. Learn and laugh. It's a perfect combination. Which are we, learn or laugh? Darned if I know. Murphy Brown, weeknights at 11.30 on TV8. Be sure to check your copy of the Town Planner for important civic and family events. It's your handy home organizer. From your neighborhood merchants and Cleveland's own TV8. Talk show host Tom Snyder joins Dave tomorrow at midnight on TV8. This is the CBS Sunday Night News. Bill Platt reports.